and Google are not just union busters. They're not just destroying this planet. They're the very backbone of the state violence that oppresses Muslim communities and black and brown people across this country and around the world. So we're here to demand that big tech stop profiting from, tech, uh, from defense contracts with the United States and Israel and all other um, governments that are complicit in this project. We're here because Google leadership decided that arming the nations of the world with the tools for surveillance, control, and violence is more important than their workers' values, their users' safety, and Palestinian lives. They've chosen apartheid over justice and money over morality. They announced this stance to the world when they signed Project Nimbus, $1.2 billion contract with the Israeli government and military the same week that the Israeli military was evicting Palestinians from Sheikh Jarrah and violently attacking them in Al-Aqsa. However, the roots of Google's complicity in Israeli apartheid extend much deeper. This contract is the result of years of worker suppression, union busting, and anti-organizer retaliation. Most recently, Google retaliated against Ariel Karen, another Jew Jewish Google worker, for her advocacy in support of Palestinians and against Project Nimbus. Imagine that we have to stand out here to protest, to call for a multi-billion dollar corporation, multi-billion dollar corporations to, to come to a higher moral ground. We're not asking you to do anything that you shouldn't already be doing. We're not asking you to violate any values or principles that you should already have. We're saying do not be complicit in the violations of human rights, whether it be against Palestinians in Palestine, or whether it be against our migrants at the southern border, or whether it be against black and brown communities here in New York City. The technology is powerful, and giving that power to an organization that kills without consequences is not a neutral act. To be clear, Project Nimbus is neither the first nor the last step in Google's drive to become a military contractor. It began with Project Maven, an effort to build AI for Pentagon drone surveillance. It continued in contracts with Customs and Border Patrol when Google leadership chose to assist the violent separation of families and caging of children rather than listen to their workers. Google has now signed on to Project Nimbus and is testing cloud infrastructure as a technology of violence and war that will be exported to militaries around the world. Tech profits as states use people in Palestine and Myanmar and Xinjiang and Mali and Syria as test subjects with these technologies that are then used to oppress them. Amazon, Google, you can't hide. Amazon, Google, you In light of Google's refusal to be transparent and ethical in their business practices, I believe that all Google workers must reflect on the impact that they want to have on the world. Please look internally and find your care for your Palestinian coworkers, your sense of responsibility to our Palestinian users, your sense of responsibility to yourself. And please join us in preventing Google from becoming complicit in apartheid. We will not allow our labor to be used for violence and war, we will stand against Israeli apartheid and violations of human rights. We will stand for our rights as workers to speak out and be heard. Thank you.